It is important that researchers, especially junior researchers and student researchers, think about the issues, possible issues in getting access to sources of data that is an important aspect of the process of research. So in this presentation, I would like to briefly discuss uh, the process of access to data sources in social sciences and also some of the possible issues in having access or in getting access to data sources. So first, uh, let, us th let us have a look at uh, the general types of research in social sciences. As we know that generally in social sciences there are mainly three types of research studies. The quantitative research studies, the qualitative research studies, and the mixed methods uh, research studies. In the quantitative research studies, we call them quantitative research studies because the, mainly the data involved uh, is in quantitative form or in numerical form. In qualitative studies, the data involved is qualitative in nature or textual data um, is involved in the process of qualitative studies. And in the mixed method research designs, there is generally a combination of both quantitative data and qualitative or textual data. Um, then the data collection methods vary in line with the kind of data that we need. So as in quantitative studies, we need quantitative or numerical type of data or data that, come, that comes in the form of numbers. So uh, some of the important methods of data collection include questionnaires and scales and checklists and measurements, measurements especially when we, uh, we, when we conduct uh, experimental studies. In qualitative studies, the general methods of data collection include interviews and observations and focus groups, uh, which is also a form of interview where a group of people are interviewed um, around a particular topic. And then in the mixed method research design, we make use of both types of data collection methods. Now the, uh, the, the basic topic there, uh, of this presentation is actually is access. So that you have decided on your design and you have decided that you are either conducting quantitative studies or qualitative studies or mixed methods and therefore you either need quantitative or numerical data or textual or qualitative data or you need, need both types of data. In, a, in each case, uh, the sources of data for empirical studies generally um, involve individuals that you need to have access to in order to get the data or there might be groups or they, 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 that might be, these might be organizations. So in case of individuals, if you are, con if you are in need of quantitative studies, you will generally need to get access to individuals or to groups in order to uh, distribute your questionnaires or scales or checklists uh, in order to get quantitative type of data. Um, if the individuals are adults and if they can give their own consent, so informed consent is an important part of the access to data sources. So the data sources that are generally humans um, need to have uh, uh, the, the researcher need to have informed consent of the data sources or the individuals or the groups um, that they want to have debt to collect data from. Informed consent actually means that the participants or the respondents 
need to be well informed about the kind of data that is required of them, their involvement in the data collection in the research process. And, um, and so they are informed and, and their participation in the study is based on consent. So generally, if there are individuals and there are adults, they can give their own uh, consent. If there are groups or organizations, um, in that case, the researchers might need to get access before the data collection process. <clears throat> and that access might be more in the form of um, institutional permission. That, that might be required on the part of the, the heads or the, med, the administration or management of the institution or organization from which the data is needed. So, for example, if a researcher wants to conduct a quantitative study in a school, um, and so if he or she is interested in uh, having access to students for data collection. Uh, the researcher might need to have um, informed consent and also they might need to have written uh, or oral permission of the organization. So the, the, the type of or kind of permission that is being needed will depend on the type of data that is required and also on the policies of the institutions where he or she wants to conduct the study or where uh, or the university where the, uh, the the student researcher actually is studying so they they might have clear policies regarding the what why and how of the consent or the access and these might be um, uh, noted in their, uh, in their uh, documents. And so access to individual is, is generally easier um, than groups because groups involve more formal types of um, processes for getting, uh, for, for taking uh, their permission and for getting access. Similarly, in qualitative studies where textual data is needed, Again, uh, if they are individuals and you as a researcher want to have in individual interviews with them, uh, you might directly go to them and ask for their uh, permission uh, before you conduct the study. But if they are groups or organizations and the situation is more formal, so in that case you might need to get proper organizational permission. Um, in order to have access to data sources. And again, in mixed method research as well, um, you, you will have, to, as you will have to combine both uh, the quantitative type of data collection tools and the qualitative. So before you actually conduct the research, in other words, before you start the process of data collection, uh, irrespective of the type of research that you are conducting, whether it's qualitative uh, research or quantitative research or mixed method research, in each case, you will need to have access to data sources. And therefore, it is very important that while you are planning uh, your research, while you are setting your objectives, uh, and while you are deciding on the kinds of data that you need for your research project, it is very important that you need to think about and you need to properly plan and you need to discuss um, access issues. In some cases, junior researchers and, and student researchers, they develop a proposal and they um, actually develop uh, data collection tools and methods and they decide upon their sample but they might not have given adequate attention to the access issues. 
So once they get into the practical field, um, they find that um, it is, for example, it is difficult to have access to individuals for interviews because they are too busy. In some cases, they find that it is difficult to conduct observations um, in some cases, especially in experimental studies. Um, there, are, uh, there are a number of ethical issues in experimental studies. For example, in experimental studies, access and then manipulating uh, the conditions over there according to the requirements of the experimental research design might be quite difficult because most organizations such as, for example, schools or universities or hospitals, um, they have their own uh, setup and routines and so they do not want researchers to disturb those routines. And as a result, it is quite difficult um, to have access to those research sites or to, to those sources of data for a longer period of time and according to the design of the research study. So it is therefore very important that um, while the researchers, uh, when they are planning to conduct the research studies, when they are deciding upon their research designs, when they are deciding upon their samples, and when they are deciding uh, what type of data they need and in what form they need the data, this is also very important that they need to think well uh, about the access issues. If um, uh, a lot of time is spent in, in the planning, but if access is denied or if, access, if the issues of access arise at the time of data collection, then the whole research project might uh, end in failure because in the absence of enough data or in the abs absence of any data or if the researcher is unsuccessful in getting access to sources of data, um, the process of research uh, will actually come to a complete halt. So, so, so the access issue is very important and student researchers are well advised to think about access issues to think about how and when to, they will have access to individuals or groups, and also to think about um, how uh, in access to individuals is different than access to groups and organizations. So these are important aspects of the research process, and these should be well considered before uh, formally embarking on the research process.